present the, our presentation about our experience like Wikimedia in the Canary Islands and our local culture in the Wikimedia projects. Uh, this is, we want to present some of the projects we have made. For example, this one is one of the most important because we're, we're the institution who contact with us because they, they want to contribute to the open knowledge. Then we have a, a stand, we, we have made a stand, information stands with several activities in, in some events, in technological events, social events, cultural events, in Congress. Uh, this one, for example, is in the Tenerife Land Party. It's a technological event very important in the Canary Islands. Then we have uh, an important project about that consists in editatons and to know the importance of the fortifications in the case of the Gran Canary Island. And well, with these projects and uh, many more that we have uh, organized, we have uh, filled uh, some, some feelings about the people and the institutions so, the positive feelings that we have received from the institution is that every, always they say that this is absent, this is an absent work, uh, we don't know about it. Uh, many of them have curiosity, yes, oh yes, how, how is this made? Uh, always curiosity, absent, positive, uh, very interesting. They always say this is very interesting. We have to make more of this in the Canary Islands, but then we have the negative uh, feelings. One, in one point, there are many, many people in the institution that uh, preserve the idea that uh, Wikipedia Commons, uh, Wikidata are projects uh, in which you cannot search reliable information, many people have mistrust about them. Um, when we, we want to organize something, they say, yes, yes, we can organize this, but uh, we cannot give your money for this, for nothing, for computers, for, for whatever. And uh, they, want, they don't want to invest time or resource in the project, so we have a, a little problem here, little big problem, because we can't uh, contribute in the in the way we can if the institutions don't uh, don't give us uh, some ways to contribute with them. So some of the things that we have summarized with the institution is that many of them have. Many of them, of the most of them, uh, have total lack of knowledge about the, what we have done and what we do, what we do, and about the free license and the copyright. They don't know nothing practically about this. Then, the institution, at least in the Canary Islands, they are always searching for a photograph with uh, something famous. So he's searching for a prominence of the institution. If they don't have a, a photograph, they don't want to, to invest many time in the project. Then uh, they don't understand how, the, how we work in the Wikimedia projects. They don't understand this is collaborative. They don't understand this is something made for people for another people uh, in free license that anyone can use in any way. Then uh, is what I commented before. There are many interests in the in the project to make more and more, but they don't invest time or resource. And with the institution, there are always a uh, very slowness because you can talk with them and they refer you uh, one month after 
then we have to send another email and again and again and again it's very to make a project it could be very very a simple editaton may be uh, very very long in the time and then in the in the same sense uh, there is a lack of communication because we contact with one person in chair of the institution and then this person tell us we have to contact with another and the same. And well. Okay. Hi? No. Okay, uh, my name is Elena. Um, my, I am from Wikimedia Spain, but we, for Wikimedia Portugal too. Um, I'm here to improve you, so my, my uh, <laughs> sorry, it's my, best, my first conference. <laughs> um, we have a really hard question. It's what could Canary Islands and Africa, especially the West area, can collaborate on? Uh, we need your responses because we have some ideas, but when we <laughs> have to let it into practice, it's so complicated because um, my partner tell you, uh, we have some problems with institutions, with uh, fail of curiosity, it's people don't have some curiosity. It's something we lost when we grow up, <laughs> I think. And I, th I know we can collaborate with you, because uh, all these days we see you have a really good ideas about the Wikimedia projects. So, History, culture, and education. I think is the most important we have to do for reality. So I want to know your opinion <laughs> and know what you can afford us. So, some ideas we have in mind to collaborate with the North Africa, especially with Morocco in this case, is for example the cultural heritage we have in common. For example, we have uh, one example here is Santa Cruz de la Mar Pequeña, it's a very important archaeological area uh, for the Canary Islands and for Morocco. Uh, and then the field of the culture we have the, the Tamasic in the Canary Islands, the pre-Hispanic population uh, speak and write in Tamasic. So we have many inscriptions in the Canary Islands and in many, many cultural groups are promoting this as like something we have to know about our past. So I think this is one of the pillars we can in which we can collaborate. And then about the education, I think we can try to make parallel projects in which uh, in the Canary Islands we can try to know more about Morocco or any country to collaborate on. And in the Canary Islands, in the Canary Islands learn about Morocco and then in Morocco learn about uh, the Canary Islands with Wikipedia uh, training the, the, the kids in the, in the high school how, to the, how they can contribute to the Wikimedia project mainly with Wikipedia and Commons they are the most easy to contribute to and then this is the one quest, this is the question the main question my mate uh, shared with you we have these ideas, but maybe um, some of you have ideas to collaborate with, with us. We have talked, for example, here with a, with a university teacher that has interest to make this kind of project. So we encourage to you to contact with us to collaborate in this kind of projects or in whatever. We are uh, open to anything because we in the Canary Islands, the Wikimedia movement is, is very weak. The main contributors are C and me. <laughs> so we want to try to make this stronger. Um, 
maybe North Africa in, in a global movement. So if you want to contact with us or you have any idea to collaborate, you can contact to any email or just speak then uh, we give the emails in person. So this is presentation is available online. Um, thank you for, for listening and excuse the, the nervous. We are very tired now. But I hope you you really like to collaborate with the Carry Island. If you have some questions now, but then there is another presentation. Some fast questions. Sorry. Are there any um, uh, pre Spanish uh, ruins on the Canary Islands? Pre Spanish? Ruins, or archaeological sites, or, or buildings, or something like that. If there are uh, pre Spanish buildings in the Canary Islands, yes, there are. Uh, in the Canary Islands, the pre-Hispanic population uh, was uh, lived in, mainly in, in caves, in caves and some structures that are not preserved, but mainly in, in caves and uh, rock buildings. We have, for example, an important archaeological area in Gran Canaria, there is the Cua Pintada de Galdar. It is uh, an archaeological area in Galdar with many, many uh, living areas. This is, there are many, uh, there are also many similarities with some North Africa Berbers uh, living areas. Is uh, through the Cervantes Institute. So, do you have any plan, or do you think you can do any collaborative work with them? If we have any plan to collaborate with the uh, Cervantes Cervantes Institution, yes. now we have no contact in the Canary Islands with them because we have not a direct connection with them there. But I know that in Wikimedia Spain is working with them. said that the uh, Wikipedia community in the Canary Islands is very small, it's, it's you guys. Yes. I think if uh, the, the Wikipedia community in Morocco is also very limited. So I think your best uh, hit, the, the topic is very fascinating, I'm a very, uh, I was mind blown to see the inscription that you showed on the rock. I think uh, you, you may have two entry points in Morocco, one would be uh, researchers, so people who do research, uh, university. Who, who may, uh, well, people, not only in Morocco, it could be Spanish people who do this research, or people based in Canary Islands. They could give you um, hints or points of contact to other people in Morocco if you need to. And the other one is people who are interested with the Amazigh culture in Morocco. And those are people who are very motivated. You know, they spend a lot of time trying to defend, you know, they have this uh, a pride for the Amazigh uh, culture. So they might have a lot of time to, to spend and to, to collaborate with you. So those two things. Yes, these are two things very, very important in which we want to invest time because we can uh, feed each other. Yes, there is an open stream map community. We are, we two are rappers too. Um, there are more people more active in the Canary Islands than, now, than we. But in the case of OpenStreetMap, is the movement in the, in the Canary Islands is more more active than the Wikimedia movement. There are there aren't activities, official activities, but there are many members active. Yes, we can try, but sometimes the, they prefer invest all his time, all his free time in OpenStreetMap. We have tried. But sometimes it's a bit hard because it's like it's like us. We invest our time in in the Wikimedia projects and a bit time in OpenStreetMap. Yes, uh, look, there were two people from uh, Aircam, which is a 
and in Moroccan Institute for the Amazigh culture. They were here yesterday. They, they left the yesterday night. So that, that's a good point because they, they were here, so they understand Wikipedia. Just get their contact. Did, did you talk to them? You mean the teacher of the Tifina workshop and the oh, university? Yeah, I think Yes, we got that. We have the contact already. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. We think it's. We, when we meet them, uh, we think it's very interesting to take these two people to the Canary Islands to make. Um, to make a workshop of Tamasic to learn how to how to say some words and explore the talents and culture of Canary Islands and Morocco. Very good. I think the, what, what this what you showed us should be taught in Moroccan uh, school books at uh, high school and at the best. Yeah. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.